Oh my goodness, simply not so safe. In what has become an all-too-familiar story, Forbes broke a story about the Simply Safe home alarm system that has so badly ignored network security that anyone within a couple hundred feet of your home can, with only rudimentary hacking skills, disable your alarm system. Worse, the system is not set up for over-the-air updates, so Simply Safe owners aren't going to get a fix anytime soon. Now, getting crypt locked by malware is frustrating, annoying, and more than just a little enraging. But now we've got a story that can put your story into perspective. Having your files encrypted by software that you probably had something to do with allowing onto your system is embarrassing. But allowing that software to lock down a hospital's data system, well, that's downright dangerous. And that's exactly what happened to Hollywood Presbyterian Medical Center in Los Angeles. Two weeks ago, the staff of the 434-bed hospital noticed that certain computers controlling lab work, the pharmacy, and the patient record system were inaccessible. With access to the electronic medical record systems disabled or untrustworthy, patients were forced to pick up lab results in person, records were not being properly updated, and even the emergency room scheduling system was compromised. Russian hackers demanded a $3.6 million ransom to release the affected systems, so the hospital called in the FBI for help. After 10 days of dealing with a disabled network, the hospital administrators decided that the best course of action was to pay the Cryplock ransom. After some negotiation with the Russian hackers, they settled on 40 bitcoins, or approximately $17,000. While paying ransom is always a bitter pill to swallow, at least they can take solace in the fact that 17 k is nowhere near the original asking price. Apache aims an arrow at big data. The world of big data took a step towards seamlessly connecting everything with everything else with the announcement of Apache Arrow by the Apache Software Foundation. The Apache Software Foundation expects Apache Arrow to cut communications overhead and boost the performance of analytical workloads by a hundredfold. Arrow code is available now for implementation in C, C++, Python, and Java, with future implementations due in one to two months for R, JavaScript, and Julia. At its heart, Arrow creates an internal representation of each big data system component so that data doesn't have to be copied and converted as it moves from Spark to Cassandra, from Apache Drill to Kudu, and, and similar translations. It does a number of other things, but the biggest impact of this top-level Apache project is that it should finally make it easy for data scientists to apply separate tools to different parts of big data problems. 